My name is Jenna Rosenstein. I am the senior beauty editor for HarpersBazaar.com and this is Face Off, in which we're going to put two products head to head, face to face, or in this case, cheek to cheek, as we're going to try the brand new Kim Kardashian contour stick and highlight stick and put it against the Rimmel London new contour stick. So I ordered the KKW Beauty products online, like you can, and it costs like 50 59, 60 something, almost $60 with shipping, um, which is expensive for a contour stick. So I ordered the shade Light, obviously, because I'm very, very fair. Um, she has, I think, four shades, which is actually a nice shade range. Um, so I ordered Light, and this is the Light Highlight and the Light Contour. One of the biggest complaints that people have had with the Kim Kardashian Beauty Contour and Highlight Sticks is the amount of product that you get inside. As you can see, if you scroll this guy up, that's it. So $60, that's all you're getting. Although you do get a double-ended one, one is matte and one is shimmer, so it's up to you, you know, if you can use both of them, then it's actually not such a bad deal, but if you prefer one over the other, then you're really only getting a small amount of product. And then in the highlight stick, that's what it looks like. Then we have the KKW Beauty brush. So one side is a foamy blender, which I've heard not so great things about. And the other side is a very soft, fluffy brush, which I'm excited to try, since I'm going to be using this brush for both the Kim Kardashian and the Rimmel. Coming in January of 2018 are these Rimmel London Insta Duo Contour Sticks. So one side is a highlighter and one side is a contour stick. So you're not getting the double highlight contour that you're getting with Kim Kardashian but the price is only $6.99, so it's quite the difference in price. So you can see you get a lot more product than you get with Kim Kardashian. And the color's nice, it's a little warm. Kim's tends to look a little gray, which is actually better for contouring because that way it looks more like a shadow, and not like bronzer. This is a little warm. And on the highlight end, it's a beautiful shimmery champagne highlighter. Again, about double the product with Kim Kardashian. And it's only $6.99. So let's start with Kim. And I'm going to use the Kim Kardashian sticks on the right side of my face, okay? So this side. <laughs> and then we'll use Rimmel on this side. I like this one. It's more gray. Gray is better for contouring. So we're gonna use this. So I'm only gonna do this half of my face. And let's get started. So oh, I do feel like I already used a good amount of the product. It's kind of sad. So then let's go on to the highlight. I did not like the yellow one, so I'm going to use the one that's a little bit lighter. Okay, so this is my beautiful contouring art with the Kim Kardashian light stick. Wow. Gorgeous, I'm Picasso. So now let's move on to the Rimmel London Insta Duo Contour Stick in light. But you can see the difference in color already. Like see how much more gray this one is and this one's a lot warmer. So, um, you know, it would be good for a bronzer, but for contour it can look a little unnatural on fair skin to be this orange. It's a little scary. So the consistency wise, that bronzer or contour felt exactly the same as Kim's. It went on so smooth and creamy, which is great, but look at the difference in color. If you have fair skin, you know that warm colors like this can be a little bit scary. So we'll see how it looks when it blends out and if they blend out the same and have that same sort of soft focus finish. But before we do that, let's use the highlighter. Very, very light. This one does not have the same impact as the Kim Kardashian. This one, Kim's is definitely more like a concealer. In fact, she said that she sometimes uses it instead of concealer, and I can see how, because it has a lot more pigment and a lot more of like a, you know, opacity to it than this Rimmel one, but this Rimmel one is definitely dewier. Like it has a shinier finish to it. So now you have a full side-by-side -side comparison. Rimmel, Kim Kardashian. So are you ready for the face-off? Let's see how they both blend out. So 
but I can blend it in really, really easily. My skin just kind of ate it up. It didn't really take away that much of my foundation. I was kind of expecting more of a contour. Maybe I should go back and use more. We'll see afterwards. So let's uh, blend the rimmel and see what happens. True test. Oh yeah, look at this color. Yikes. All right, so my first thoughts are, the Rimmel, like I thought, is way too orange for fair skin. Um, while the formula was super creamy and honestly felt exactly the same as Kim's going on, the color just isn't right. Like I think if you had a little bit darker skin or more olive skin, you could definitely wear this. But if you're pale like me, which this is the light shade, then this contour is not the best one that I've used. Um, but the highlight, however, is great like it's super dewy it blended so easily it has a little bit more of a skip to it than Kim's Kim's again is a little bit creamier but for like more than triple the price I expect that I guess final thoughts between the two Rimmel $6.99 great drugstore price the highlighter is awesome I would definitely recommend using this if you have fair skin like me but the contour side is gonna be a no for me, unfortunately. Just too warm, um, but that's okay. That happens with a lot of products made for fair skin. It definitely has to be gray, which Kim did. Kim definitely, in her contour sticks, made the formulas gray tinged, which is actually the color that you need for contour. Again, the formula blended beautifully and almost too well. It didn't give me the drama that I expected from a Kim Kardashian contour stick. Let's set everything with Kim's favorite, Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Just gonna make sure it lasts all day. So there we go. There is my finished face off between the Kim Kardashian Beauty Contour Sticks and the brand new Rimmel London Contour Stick. They were pretty much the same, I would say. Like the formula was exactly the same. You definitely get a lot more product in the Rimmel one than you do in the Kim one. But at the end of the day, the Rimmel Contour Stick was just the wrong color, so Kim definitely won in this beauty battle. 